na mtazamaji wangu popote ulipo natumai ubuheri wa afya mie ni mzima karibu kwenye taarifa zetu za undugu matukio runinga ikiwa ni undugu nambari moja kote ulimwenguni yajayo ni vidokezo aliyekuwa waziri kidhure kindiki achukua wadhifa wa naibu rais bara kuapishwa huku akiahidi kuwa mwaminifu kwa rais Ruto do swear that i will always truly i will always truly and diligently and diligently serve the people of Kenya serve the people of Kenya and the republic of Kenya na wa Kenya wana maoni gani kuhusiana na kuapishwa kwa kidhure kindiki kama naibu rais fanywa mbaya sana kama watu wa Mount Kenya watu wa mlima wamefanywa baya sababu mimi naona ingekuwa gasagwa lazima aende wangeenda wao wawili gasagwa pamoja na president rais ulamboto ahaidi kuhudumia wa Kenya wote bila kujali mirengo yao ya kisiasa and i want to commit pledge and undertake that we will serve the people of Kenya equally and no part of Kenya no community in Kenya no section of Kenya no region of Kenya shall be left behind Rais Ruto amuru idara ya DCI kuchukua hatua madhubuti dhidi ya wahalifu wanaohusika na mauaji ya wanawake na wasichana nchini that the DCI and all the investigative authorities in the Republic of Kenya must stand up to these criminals. Sufuri saba na nimbili, saba sufuri tano, saba sufuri tano ni wapu natazama Runinga. Ndugu kumbuwa kamba tupo mbashara kwenye michandawe yetu ya kijami. Jina langu ni Sebastian Maria Priscilla Mwangi upande wa pili. Karibu ni kujuzi haya. Profesa Kidhure Kindiki amepishwa rasmi na kuwa naibu rais wa tatu wa Kenya chini ya katiba mpya ya mwaka 2010. Kumbatana na afisi ya naibu wa rais Kindiki amelishwa viapo viwili, kiapo cha kuonyesha uaminifu kwa katiba ya Jamhuri ya Kenya na kiapo cha kutekeleza majukumu ya afisi ya naibu rais. Rais William Ruto ameongoza viongozi serikalini pamoja na wakenya katika hafla hiyo akizungumza mara baada ya kula kiapo profesa Kidhure Kindiki amebaini kuwa atamsaidia rais William Ruto katika ajenda yake ya kuboresha Kenya na kuunganisha wananchi katika nafasi yake ya unaibu wa rais Isaac Musyoka anatufungulia taarifa zetu leo hii I I Kidhure Kindiki katika jumba la mikutano la Kenyatta International Conference Center KICC mjini Nairobi aliyekuwa waziri wa usalama wa ndani profesa Kithure Kindiki alikula kiapo kama naibu rais wa tatu wa Kenya chini ya katiba ya Kenya mwaka 2010 Do swear that I will always truly that I will always truly and diligently and diligently serve the people of Kenya serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the deputy president in the office of the deputy president hili linajia baada ya aliyekuwa naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua kubanduliwa kutoka wadhifa huo na bunge la kitaifa pamoja na ile ya seneti kindiki akiapa kujitolea kutumikia wa Kenya bila kuwabagua i commit i will be loyal and faithful i will try the best of my ability to work hard together with the other colleagues to lighten the burden that you carry on your shoulders your excellency kindiki alidokeza kuwa tamsaidia rais william ruto katika agenda yake ya kuboresha kenya na kuunganisha wananchi katika nafasi yake unaibu wa rais i want to commit to support and assist you together with the other colleagues in government to realize a Kenya that has even greater opportunities a more inclusive Kenya a more democratic Kenya Professor Kindiki alionekana kumpongeza Rais William Ruto kwa kumteua kama naibu wake akiapa kutomsaliti Rais Ruto kukarimu wake wa kumteua I will serve under you 
and provide you with the assistance and support you require to take this country to the next level. I commit, I will be loyal and faithful. I will try the best of my ability to work hard together with the other colleagues to lighten the burden that you carry on your shoulders, Your Excellency. Rais William Ruto alimpongeza Kindiki kutokana na utendakazi wake katika wadhifa wa waziri usalama wa ndani ambalo ameudumu kwa miaka miwili sasa na kumtaka kumsaidia kuendelea na agenda ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Abraham is also a patriot whose dedication to cohesion, national unity and inclusivity is beyond reproach. An effective champion of peace and stability and across every part of our country and a loyal steward of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. In Professor Kindiki, we see a lot of virtue, but perhaps the one I may want to single out is the virtue of humility. Isaac Musioka, Undugu TV. Na Rais William Ruto ameahidi kuwa serikali yake haitawacha eneo lolote nyuma katika ajenda yake ya maendeleo bila kujali iwapo walimpigia kura katika uchaguzi mkuu uliopita akizungumza wakati wa kuapishwa kwa naibu wake mpya Profesa Kidure Kindiki Rais Ruto amewakumbusha viongozi kuhusu viapo vyao akiwasisitizia kuwahudumia wakenya wote kwa usawa bila kujali mrengo wao wa kisiasa Rais amewataka mwafisa katika taasisi za serikali kuwahudumia wakenya bila mapendeleo, hofu au hata fadhila. We have made stride as a nation. Today our savings as a percentage of our GDP is growing. We have changed and we have transformed our education system. Today, we have more teachers. We just announced another 20,000 teachers. We have a new funding model that is student-based, which we are refining to make sure that no child in Kenya is left behind. My dear Professor Kindiki, I need your voice. I need your intellect to help me and to help members of our cabinet to profile the things we are doing, to speak to the things that we are doing. I have almost become a lonely voice in the, exec in the executive, especially in the presidency, speaking about our projects, speaking about our programs, elaborating on what we are doing. You are eloquent, my brother. You are, in you are intelligent, my brother. I am confident that you will do that which I have missed for the last two years. I know you will. We have a big program on rural electrification to connect close to 300,000 homes across Kenya. I need your support to the Ministry of Energy who are doing a wonderful job in that exercise. We have a big program on markets across Kenya. We have a big program on housing across Kenya. Na aliyekuwa waziri wa usalama wa ndani Kidure Kindiki ameapishwa rasmi na kuwa naibu wa rais. Lakini wafahamu safari ya Kindiki hadi kufikia wadhifa mkubwa wa pili nchini. Victor Kayanda na wasifu wa naibu Rais Abraham Kidure Kindiki. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya. Akiwa mzao wa kijiji cha Irunduni County ya Tharakanithi, naibu Rais Abraham Kithure Kindiki alianzia masomo yake ya msingi na upili eneo hilo kabla ya kujiunga na chuo kikuu cha Moi kusomea shahada ya uanashiria. 
Mara baada ya kufuzu na shahada hiyo ya kwanza mwaka wa 1998 Kindiki alielekea nchini Afrika Kusini katika chuo kikuu cha Pretoria ambapo aliongeza masomo yake na kufuzu na shahada za uzamili na uzamifu mtawalia alianzia taaluma yake kama mwathiri msaidizi wa sheria katika chuo kikuu cha Moi na kisha kujiunga na chuo kikuu cha Nairobi mnamo mwaka wa 2013 Kindiki aliamua kujitoza mzima mzima katika mawimbi makali ya kisiasa akigombea wadhifa wa useneta katika kaunti ya Tharakanithi na kuteuliwa kuwa kiongozi wa walio wengi katika bunge hilo nyota yake siasani ilianza kungaa kwani alichaguliwa kama seneta kwa muula wa pili katika uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka wa 2017 akichaguliwa pia kama naibu spika ila akatimuliwa mwaka wa 2020 ikumbukwe kuwa Kindiki alipigiwa upatu sana kuwa mgombea mwenza wa rais William Ruto katika uchaguzi uliopita ila rais Ruto alimpendelea aliyekuwa naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa hatua ambayo ilipelekea Kindiki kutangaza kujiondoa katika siasa za uchaguzi I will not be seeking for any appointive position whatsoever however i will remain available to my country in future should an opportunity arise to seek leadership positions hata hivyo alikuwa katika mstari wa mbele kumfanyia rais Ruto kampeni na baada ya rais Ruto kuchukua mikoba ya uongozi akamteua kama waziri wa usalama wa ndani nafasi ambayo ameshikilia hadi rais Ruto alipovunja baraza lake la mawaziri kufuatia maandamano ya kupinga mswada wa fedha mwaka wa 2024 kutokana na umairi wake kazini Kindiki alikuwa miongoni mwa mawaziri wachache waliorejeshwa serikalini katika uteuzi uliofanywa na rais akirejea katika wizara hiyo hiyo ya usalama wa ndani the minister for interior and national administration the honorable professor abraham kidure kindiki kindiki ametajwa kama waziri mchapakazi zaidi katika baraza la rais ruto na hata kuwekwa kifua mbele na mashirika ya kitafiti nchini i kidure kindiki i assume as deputy president of the republic of kenya ila miaka miwili baada ya uchaguzi Profesa Abraham Kithure Kindiki sasa anaingia katika vitabu vya kumbukumbu kama naibu wa rais wa tatu chini ya katiba mpya ya mwaka wa na kumi. Victor Kayanda Undugu TV Na mtazamaji wangu tikiachana na wasifu wa Profesa Kithure Kindiki ambaye sasa ndiye naibu wa rais na sasa mtazamaji tuangazie maoni ya wa Kenya kutoka kaunti mbalimbali kuhusiana na hatua ya kumteua profesa Kithure Kindiki na kumwapisha kumwapisha kama naibu rais tukianza na kaunti ya Machakos na wa Kenya tuko na matumaini kwa sababu sasa huyu mwingine mambo hayakwenda vile watu walikuwa wanatarajia lakini wacha tungoje tuone vile wa serikali itasukumwa sasa ila tunataka wacha kukuwe tu na uwazi kama ni kazi wacha zikuwe distributed all over the country eh yeah? mimi naona tu mambo yanakuwa tu kama kawaida only that uh, they are just the same people same same the same same people when you are going to daily eh? so maybe hata maybe anaweza kuwa yeye ndio was kuliko the gashago ama anaweza pia kuwa mpo kwa so we don't know eh be by the age of fraya kwa maana kuna gashagu ambaye mwenyewe alifanya Ruto akapanda kwa mrima na akaweza kuin kura zake ndo akamiliki kuwa president. Anaonekana ni mtu shubabu na ataendesha kazi yake na atatii eh atafuata yale rais atakuwa akimwambia na atafanyia wananchi wetu wa Kenya kazi. Ukiwa wa mama wa Saudi Ment Tarakanidi Kenya yote tuka nyuma yako na kitu tutakupatia mpaka 10 years ili 10 ikiisha tupatie professor Kedeke kimlinganisha na viongozi wengine hapa nchini Kenya nitamlinganisha na rais mstaafu and uh, alikuwa anaitwa Mwai Kibaki Mwai Kibaki alikuwa Kenya pari babaya sana alikuwa mtu akua napiga kelele lakini kazi yake ilionekana and kwa sasa kazi ya Kibaki inaonekana Kenya 
Hiyo tumefanyiwa mbaya sana kama watu wa Mount Kenya. Watu wa mlima wamefanyiwa mbaya sababu mimi naona ingekuwa gasagwa lazima aende wangeenda wao wawili. Gasagwa pamoja na president Mount Kenya tudhidhiki naye kwa sababu wangepea huyo ligiji wetu nafasi. Eh ajereze na ile hatua ilifanyika ye eh, ikuenda kulingana na katiba ya Kenya vile inatakikana Japo ni some jumbe zilizopo kwenye meza yetu ya habari Bena Bena Dikiosha anasema kwamba tune in from Mitaboni kazi nzuri Monsieur Kimano anasema kwamba Manua pa watching from Machakos town engineer prince daktari anasema well tuned Jos Chama tunawapata live from Kajaro tukiwa na Maureen, Kelly, Dennis, Masi na Katambe. Face to Mudhini live from Embu. Nichukue pumziko fupi angani uweze kupata kopo la maji usiende mbali. Sererereka na rada. Sererereka na rada. Sererereka na rada. Sererereka na rada. <laughs> Sererereka na rada. Repeat after me. Mm -hmm. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Green. What's the color of the milk? White. It is not among the, the ones that you have said. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow. Nini na kuanga pa mbele yako? But wezi uke yona amu keshiko. Ewa. Mama kamu aku na tua tua tadi. Aku anza ni tua Ken, papi dia ni tua Joy. Tua tadi na fikir dia ni tua Nan. Kamu, bawa kopi. Wah, ah si Joy. Jesus is Lord. Terereka na rada. Sererereka na rada. Sererereka na rada. Kama kanisa, sio kuambia juu ya mbingu mbingu kila siku. Hapana. Wako na maisha ya kuishi hapa duniani. Lazima wajue wanastahili kuwekeza hapa kwa ajili ya maisha ya hapa. Tumenunua uwanja huko Konza City tayari na tunaendelea na process ya kujiandaa tujenge angalau orofa kumi na mbili. Hiyo ni komasho. Kipata ka nafasi pale, e, utajipatia mapato. Ndutaka kuwalika members wetu wa kanisa, members wetu wa sako, waendele kunjiunga na mradi wa konsa teknopolis, ambao ni mradi vilianzisha maka ulio kipita. Registration ni shilingi elfu moja, na isa moja ni elfu, belatini. Kanisa inaekeza kiwango cha asilimia 30 na asilimia sabini tumeifungulia members wa kanisa ili waweze kunifaika na mradi huo na nawaomba ili muweze kuona kama inafaa maana huo mji wa Konza Technopolis unakuwa kwa kasi sana Na mtazamaji nimerejea tena karibu. Rais William Ruto ameamuru idara ya upelelezi ya jinai DCI na mashirika ya usalama nchini kuchukua hatua kali dhidi ya wahalifu wanaohusika na mauaji ya wanawake katika harakati za kuzima visa hivyo nchini. Akizungumza wakati wa kuapishwa kwa naibu wa rais Kidure Kindiki, Rais Ruto ameonyesha wasiwasi kwamba wanawake na wasichana nchini wamekuwa kipoteza maisha yao kiholela kwa kuuawa kwa hali tatanishi. Baada ya mashirika ya kutetea haki za kibinadamu kujitokeza na kushtumu mauaji ya wanawake ambayo yamekuwa yakiendelea nchini na kumtaka Rais William Ruto kutangaza mikakati ambayo serikali inapania kuweka kusitisha mauaji hayo. Rais William Ruto hatimaye amejitokeza 
na kuyataka mashirika ya usalama nchini kukabiliana na ongezeko la mauaji ambayo ameyataja kama ya kuofisha. Rais Ruto ambaye amezungumza hayo katika hafla ya kumwapisha naibu rais Kidure Kindiki katika ukumbi wa KICC jijini Nairobi amesema kuwa ameonyesha kugadhabishwa na jinsi wanawake na wasichana wachanga wamekuwa wakitolewa uhai akitoa hakikisho kuwa swala hilo litakomeshwa kabisa kwa ushirikiano na asasi za usalama nchini that of recent we have seen incidences of our girls our mothers our women who have been murdered in cold blood and let me say this that the DCI and all the investigative authorities in the Republic of Kenya must stand up to these criminals Rais Ruto vile vile amewataka wa Kenya kuwa waangalifu zaidi na kupiga ripoti kuhusu watu wanaowadanganya wasichana na wanawake na kuwapeleka katika maeneo hatari kabla ya kuangamiza. Want to ask us as a society to be careful with strangers, to be careful with people who lure our girls, our women into situations that compromise their security. But we must be on the lookout all of us as a nation. Mapema wiki hii naibu kamishna wa polisi Elud Kagat alikiri kuwa kumekuwa na ongezeko kubwa la visa vya mauaji na kufichua kuwa wamenakili visa 97 vya mauaji ya wanawake katika kipindi cha miezi mitatu iliyopita. Last three months alone the country has reported 97 cases of femicide. This troubling trend highlights the urgent need for focused actions and collaboration to tackle the widespread problem of gender-based violence in our society. Na Rais William Ruto asema kuwa sekta ya elimu imeimarika kwa kiwango kikubwa kwa miaka miwili ya uongozi wake. Rais Ruto amesema hali hiyo ni kupitia kuajiriwa kwa walimu zaidi ili kuziba pengo la uhaba wa walimu nchini. Akiongeza kuwa mfumo mpya wa elimu unalenga kuhakikisha kuwa kila mwanafunzi nchini anapata masomo bora ili aweze kujisaidia maishani. Serikali ya kitaifa kupitia kwa Wizara ya Elimu ikionekana kuwekeza juhudi za kuimarisha sekta ya elimu kama njia mojawapo ya kuhakikisha kwa kila mwanafunzi anapata masomo na kujisaidia maishani. Rais William Ruto amesema kwa juhudi zao zimeanza kuonekana kwani sekta ya elimu imeimarika maradufu. We have a huge program on university funding and higher education funding we have changed and we have transformed our education system akizungumza wakati wa hafla ya kumwapisha naibu rais professor kidure kindiki rais ruto amesema kwa serikali imeweza kuajiri walimu 1200 akiongeza kwa mfumo mpya wa ufadhili wa elimu ya vyuo vikuu Unalenga kuhakikisha kwa kila mwanafunzi anapata nafasi ya kujiunga na chuo kikuu na kuendeleza masomo yake bila kujali familia anayotoka. Today we have more teachers. We just announced another 20,000 teachers. We have a new funding model that is student based which we are refining to make sure that no child in Kenya is left behind. Haya yanajia wakati ambao walimu na hata vyama vya kutetea walimu nchini vimekuwa vikilalama kutokana na uhaba wa walimu na kuwepo kwa walimu wengine bila ajira. Waziri wa elimu Julius Migos akizungumza alipofika mbele ya seneti alifichua kuwa kuna uhaba wa walimu wa sekondari msingi takriban mbili. kisa kikiwa ni ukosefu wa hela za kuajiri walimu wali. Therefore for junior school teachers in 
will be 149,350 teachers. The teachers on duty will be 76,928, resulting in a shortage of 72,422 teachers. The government will progressively recruit more teachers to bridge this gap. <laughs> We have a very terrible shopping. Now, when we look on a shopping, our limo. Usemi wa rais wa mfumo mpya wa ufadhili wa elimu ya vyuo vikuu ulionekana kutopokelewa vizuri na wakenya na hata washikadau mbalimbali katika sekta hii ya elimu jambo ambalo linakinzana na usemi wa rais wa kuwa mfumo huu unalenga kuwajumuisha wanafunzi wote kupata masomo ya juu when you follow you also find that there is bursary fund given from the taxpayers money given to the governor, given to the women rep, given to the MP through CDF, given to the MCA. I hope none of them is here because they are going to reach me. Now, all those bursaries, how are they disbursed? Why wouldn't you put them in education and make education free for all? Mary Kialo, Makala Elimo na Undogo. Nami ni kujuza taarifa nyingine tukiachana na hiyo ya makala ya elimu na undugu kutokana na ongezeko la mimba za mapema katika kaunti ya Migori wa huduma wa afya katika kaunti hiyo wamelazimika kutafuta hatua za haraka za kuzuia tatizo hilo kama vile utekelezaji wa njia za kupanga uzazi kulingana na takwimu za Wizara ya Afya kaunti ya Migori mwaka 2023 visa vya mimba za mapema miongoni mwa vijana zilikuwa asilimia tisa ya mimba zilirekodiwa katika kaunti hiyo hata hivyo njia za kupanga uzazi imekuja na wakosoaji wengi pamoja na unyanyapaa mkubwa kutoka kwa jamii na imani potovu zinazoshiriki huku mimba za mapema zikionekana kuwa changamoto katika kaunti mbalimbali hapa nchini kulingana na Irene Yoga mhudumu wa afya katika kituo cha afya cha Midoti Katika kati ya Suna East kumekuwa na idadi kubwa ya mimba za mapema. Akisema kuwa unyanyapa kuhusu mpango wa uzazi katika jamii unahusisha hatari za kiafya na za maisha. Kutoweza kuzaa na kuhamasisha ushirati miongoni mwa vijana. When I started working in this environment, I realized that there was increased number of adolescent pregnancies and school dropout. And also there were myths and misconceptions about family planning services. Uh, most parents thought that these family planning services could uh, endanger the lives of their young ones and therefore in future they could not uh, get pregnancy. Either Irene amekanusha mawazo hayo eneo zingira swala la kupanga uzazi akisema kuwa kupanga uzazi ni salama na imekusha dhibitisho wa kisayansi kuwa haina madhara kwa wanawake wanaozaa au kusababisha kutoweza kuzaa. With the uh, education to the community and also engaging the adolescents and the youths in services and in educating them, grouping them, they are able to realize that they can as well use these methods, they are methods that are safe and are uh, uh, scientifically proven so they cannot interfere with their future reproductive health. Aida, amesema kuwa kufikia sasa wameweza kuelimisha watu wenye umri mdogo kuhusiana na swala lote la kupanga uzazi ingawaje hawajafikisha umri wa kuwa na familia akisema kuwa ni jambo muhimu litakalowasaidia siku za usoni so when the, the challenge initiative came uh, it focused on the, the adolescents and uh, and the youths reproductive health services and this one they targeted initially they targeted the specific facilities and also the healthcare providers so after we had been interviewed we were taken for trainings that was capacity building for us because the knowledge gap was now catered for at least we knew that even the 14 year old girl 
the 15 year old girl could get a family uh, a future planning because they do not have families so we talk of future planning immaculate karimi ondogo tv na mchuo cha mafunzo wa kiufundi cha gichugu kilichoko katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga kilichofunguliwa mnamo Septemba mwaka huu kimeanza mikakati ya kuhamasisha umma kwa ushirikiano na mashirika mbalimbali mbali ya serikali ili kuongeza idadi ya wanafunzi chuoni humo maafisa wa serikali ya kitaifa katika juhudi za kuboresha viwango vya masomo nchini waliandaa mkutano na uongozi wa taasisi hiyo ili kubuni mikakati ya kuwafikia vijana zaidi kujiunga na chuo hicho mkurugenzi wa taasisi hiyo Joseph Kimemia amesema uhamasishaji wa asilimia moja ya wanafunzi wa shule za msingi kuingia katika shule za sekondari umewawezesha vijana wengi kupata masomo ya sekondari ila kuna haja ya kuhakikisha vijana wengi wamejiunga na vyuo vikuu na anwai ile kuwa na ujuzi wa kuwasaidia maishani Kalentiri ya 274 uh, trainees. Uh, it is not imaginable that is in a, in a country whereby per constituency we are graduating over 10,000 young people and they are not going anywhere that we can have a government facility of this caliber having less than uh, 2,000 trainees. That's, that, that's somehow not acceptable and that's why today we've held a meeting with the uh, GAO, that is the local administration under the guidance of our DCC to make sure that within the Shogo constituency we are not going to have any other young person uh, get lost between graduation of secondary school to tertiary level. Tulikuwa tumekunja kusikiliza vile mipango ya kutafuta wanafunzi itapangwa. Na mimi nikaongelea njuu nikasema kama kuna mipango ya kutafuta wanafunzi hata sisi kama CDF tutakuwa. Sababu tukipata wale watu wanafunzi wakiwa na ujuzi mzuri tutakuwa na uwezo wa kuuza services. Tuko na furaha mingi sana tukiwa wanangao wa Kirinyaga East siku ya leo. Tumekuwa na mkutano tukiwa tunaongelea juu ya shule yetu ya tekniko ya Gisogo na tumeongea vile tu tutaenda ili shule ipate wanafunzi wa kuja kusomea hapa. Already tuko na wanafunzi miabiri sabini na tunataka au wengine ambao wako huko ije kwa sababu hii ndio shule tu ile tuko nayo eneo ile tu la Gishogo wakuje hapa Gishogo Technical Institute na msasa ni kujuza taarifa za sports timu ya soka ya wanawake Harambe Starlets ilirejea nyumbani Alhamisi usiku kutoka kwa kombe la Pink Ladies ambayo ilichezwa nchini Uturuki Timu hiyo ilicheza mechi tatu ikishinda moja na kupoteza mbili. Kenya ilipoteza mbili kwa moja dhidi ya China Taipei katika mechi ya ufunguzi ikapokeza nne bila dhidi ya Urusi katika mechi ya pili kabla kushinda nne moja dhidi ya Ufilipino katika mechi yao ya mwisho. na mimi nisome jumbe zilizotufikia kwenye meza yetu ya habari. Ndugu TV ni makonzi yoka kutoka Manyata Kangundo. Chenye naomba rais na naibu wake ni wafanyie wa Kenya kazi na mambo ya siasa tungoje mwaka 2027. Nipita kavita na tazama nikiwa sinai matu. Nami nifunge kazi kutokana na jumbe hizo. Nimekuwa wako Sebastian Maria na Priscilla Mwangi kwenye upande wa pili. Asante kwa kutazama runinga ya ndugu na kutakia usiku mwema kwaheri.